We were all there, her mother, her husband, and I, and the nurse from the Ukraine, with her whole hand up there in her vagina, feeling and turning with her rubber glove as she talked casually to us, like she was turning on a spring-loaded faucet. <laughs> I was there in the room when the contractions made her crawl on all fours, made unfamiliar moans leak out of her pores, and still there, after hours, when she just screamed, suddenly wild, her arms striking out at the electric air. I was there when her vagina changed from a shy sexual hole to an archaeological tunnel a sacred vessel, a Venetian canal, a deep well with a tiny, stuck child inside waiting to be rescued. I saw the colors of her vagina. They changed. Saw the bruised, broken blue, the blistering tomato red, the gray pink, the dark saw the blood like perspiration along the edges, saw the yellow-white liquid, the shit, the clots, pushing out all the holes, saw through the hole the baby's head, scratches of black hair, saw it just there behind the bone, a hard, round memory as the nurse from the Ukraine kept turning and turning her slippery hand. I was there when each of us, her mother and I, held a leg and spread her wide, pushing with all our strength against her pushing, and her husband sternly counting one, two, three, <laughs> telling her to focus harder. <laughs> we looked into her then. We couldn't get our eyes out of that place. We forget the vagina. All of us. What else would explain our lack of awe, our lack of reverence? I was there when the doctor reached in with Alice in Wonderland spoons, and there as her vagina became a wide, operatic mouth, singing with all its strength. First the little head, then the gray flopping arm, then the fast swimming body swimming quickly into our weeping arms. I was there later. When I turned and faced her vagina, I stood and let myself see her, all spread, completely exposed, mutilated, swollen and torn, bleeding all over the hands of the doctor who was calmly sewing her there. I stood, and her vagina suddenly became a wide red heart. The heart is capable of sacrifice. So is the vagina. The heart is able to forgive and repair. So can the vagina. It can change its shape to let us in. It can expand to let us out. The vagina can ache for us and stretch for us, die for us, and bleed, bleed us into this difficult, wondrous world. I was there in the room. I remember. 